uh, to announce the director of the London School of Economics, Howard Davis. If you can run the London School of Economics, I think then you can also run the city. Thank you very much. Well, thank you, uh, Wolfgang, and good morning, ladies and gentlemen, Commissioner, and uh, of course, Chairman Joe. Um, I'm uh, delighted to be here back in Mumbai. I, you have the leisure on your long plane trip from London to reflect on your previous visits, and I worked out that this was my seventh visit to Mumbai, uh, though in fact I also before then came five times to another city near here called Bombay. Um, uh, so. Uh, I am reasonably familiar with the city, though, of course, like many foreign visitors, with only isolated parts of it. Uh, I have to confess, and I can do so whilst our Minister for the Olympics, Tessa Jowell, is not in the room, uh, that I've been to Mumbai 12 times and I've never yet been to the site of the London Olympics. Uh, but that's perhaps a little uh, instance of uh, globalization. Now, it's my job to welcome you here on behalf of the LSE, which has been uh, responsible with the Herrhausen Foundation for mounting these conferences. Of course, uh, Ricky Burdett, uh, Philip Roder, Richard Sennett and others are the team who have done the real work. They are the players. I am simply, if you like, the Duncan Fletcher of this uh, operation. Uh, in other words, if it goes well, I shall take credit for the success. And if it goes badly, I will blame the players for drinking too much. Um, this reference was deliberately inserted in order not to be meaningful to Joe Ackerman and Wolfgang Novak, uh, our German partners, uh, because it was designed to show that there are mysteries in the British relationship with India uh, which Germans will never uh, understand. <laughs> now, we are... Uh, proud, however, in spite of this barbed introduction, uh, of our link with Deutsche Bank and the Herrhausen Foundation. Uh, it has been a very fruitful partnership over a number of years now, and we certainly could not at the LSE uh, have brought our intellectual capital to bear on the problems of other global cities without the support of the foundation. And I'm delighted to say uh, that we will in fact be announcing today in London uh, that Joe Ackerman, chairman of Deutsche Bank, has become a visiting professor of the LSE, which we're very proud of. In fact, he'll be working mainly on capital markets issues and talking to our students on development of global finance, uh, but it's another sign of the close connection between us. But of course, this particular conference has depended heavily on the work and the assistance of other partners, notably the Tata Institute of Social Sciences, where we have now a close research link at the LSE, the University of Mumbai, and the National Institute of Urban Affairs in Delhi. And we've also had valuable support from the Confederation of Indian Industry, with whom we have worked on other conferences in India, and I've worked with them personally for a long time. This conference should also be seen in the context of a broader initiative by the LSE to strengthen our links with India. We have always had links with India. In fact, one of the earliest donors to the LSE in 1905 was the Tata Foundation at that time. But more recently, we have launched what we call an India Observatory. Indeed, we launched it formally at the LSE last month, Kamal Nath, Governor Reddy of the Reserve Bank, uh, Chairman Butt of the State Bank of India came from the Indian side, and Mervyn King, the Governor of the Bank of England, and uh, Nick Stern from the British side. And Nick Stern has come back to the school now as the IG Patel Chair, named in honor of my predecessor, Butt Three, who was the director <coughs> of the LSE. And so we, around Nick Stern, uh, whose first academic interest is in the economic development of a particular village in India, we are building a team to extend our work on political, social and economic issues in India. The urban age, however, reflects the work of the school on urban studies generally. I think there is no more important topic for a school of social sciences these days for the reasons which Joe Ackerman explained. 50% of the 
world is now urbanized. In India, there are 300 million urban dwellers, and that number is likely to grow rapidly. If India were on the global average, there'd be perhaps another 200 million urban dwellers in India. How can we conceivably cope with that growth? Many of the most complex issues which governments face today pose themselves most starkly in cities. The issues of migration, of managing transport, of housing, and of course of dealing with all of these issues within the pressing context of changing, uh, climate change and other uh, environmental issues. And with the Cities Programme at the LSE, we have pioneered thinking on how to link physical development with ways in which people, cities, people in cities live and interact with each other. So bringing a kind of planning perspective together with a sociological perspective. And we've found that there are great benefits in bringing together planners, developers, politicians, and sociologists to bounce ideas off each other around the world. That has been the great value of the other conferences I've attended in this series in London and Berlin, and I'm very much sure it will be the case over the next two days here. So let me add my good wishes to you all alongside those of uh, Joe Ackerman for a successful conference over the next two days. Thank you.